Welcome to our tutorial on hardware requirements. In this chapter, we'll be learning about some of the hardware requirements you'll have if you're setting up a music recording studio. First of all, let's talk about your computer. A computer that you use for music processing, and especially if you do music and video processing together, needs more power and capacity than a computer that you'd use simply for internet or word processing or just other home use. These days, the power necessary to run a digital audio workstation on your computer is fairly common and affordable. At minimum, you're going to need an 800 MHz processor, but you'd be better off with at least 3 GHz or multiple parallel processors. You can get by with 512 MB of RAM, but get 2 GB if you can. 1 GB of RAM will serve you a lot better than 512 MB. While a laptop is great for portable recording, to be comfortable at home, you'll want two monitors, especially while you're mixing. If you have more than one monitor, you may need extra RAM and an extra video card, etc. That's if your video card doesn't have two outputs. It's worth your investment. You will save a lot of time with two monitors. If you can only use one hard drive, partition it into a drive for your operating system and programs and a drive for your music recordings. However, it's always preferable to have a second hard drive. A second drive improves the performance of your recording and playback when you have large sessions or use a lot of live plugins. You should record to your system drive only when you can't really install a second hard drive, for example, if you're using a laptop. A USB connected hard drive won't give you the speed and performance that you're looking for for music processing. Your audio drive needs to be big. You're going to need at least 100 gigabytes to feel roomy. It's easy for a three minute song to take up to one gigabyte. Make sure you back up your work frequently on an external hard drive and maintain good archives on external hard drives. Pro Tools HD and LE are systems that include the hardware. But if you don't have one of these systems, you're going to need an M audio interface that works with M powered. M audio gives you many, many possibilities. You can find one that suits your needs and budgets. Your decision would be based on the number of inputs and outputs you need, how portable you need your system to be, etc. These days, there are a lot of options on the market for you, and they tend to be of pretty high quality. You're also going to need some decent monitors. While headphones are great for quiet late night work, do not use them for mixing, especially your final mix down. You may be asking, well, what about my home stereo? Well, most consumer systems have built-in EQ curves that add sheen to your sound. So if you monitor your output only this way, you're not going to hear what it really sounds like. You want a pair of studio monitors. They present your material with more accuracy. A good microphone is a must if you're going to record with accuracy. The topic of microphones is enormous, and the selection of a microphone is also very subjective. Some people will swear by the sound they get from the cheapest dynamic mic, and some will only work with the high-end pieces. The best thing you can do is experiment, not only with the mic, but with the sound setup. Find an audio shop that will rent microphones. This gives you a good chance to check out the sound of many different kinds before you buy. Recording Magazine also does good objective product reviews. Vocal mics have different qualities than instrument mics. It's really important to take the time and get the right mic for your purposes and sound, as the quality out is only as good as the quality in. Of the entire recording process, it's this trial and error in setting up the right input that is the most time-consuming aspect. Your entire once is up and running, make sure you keep it clean, free of dust, defragment your hard drive, and do your regular disk maintenance. And this concludes our overview of hardware requirements.